My name is Nina Nauwelaert. I'm a PhD student at the University of Leuven, contributing to the IMI project Conception. Conception is a public-private partnership, and the goal is to generate information about the use of medicines during pregnancy and lactation. Breastfeeding has many benefits for mother and infant. However, mothers regularly need medicines. Information about the safety of these medicines during breastfeeding is often not available. As you can imagine, studying this in mothers and their infants is quite complex. Therefore, we also need non-clinical methods. In neonatology, I meet mothers in a high-intensive care setting, which means the chances they are taking medication are high. Whether certain medicines are completely safe combining with lactation isn't always that clear. Due to a lack of information, there is a lot of gray area. A mother finds herself choosing between what's best for her baby, i.e. her own milk containing a set of specific bioactive factors responding to her baby's needs, especially a premature baby, and on the other hand, her own health. So there is an urgent need for easy, accessible, secure knowledge on the safety of medication during lactation. As you have heard, due to the lack of information, women have to choose between breastfeeding and their much needed therapy. To overcome this problem, we need to know more about the transfer of medicines into the human breast milk and also the final exposure of the infant. Non-clinical tools and methods can help us generate this information. First type of tools are the in vitro models. These are models that use cells outside of their in vivo context and can be used to determine how easily medicines transfer into the breast milk. One of the goals of conception is to increase the predictive performance and bioreleance of these in vitro models. As a second non-clinical tool, physiologically based pharmacokinetic models or PVPK models can be used. PVPK modeling is an established computational approach. PVPK models are based on patient-related parameters and medicine-specific parameters like the data from the in vitro models. A maternal PVPK model can be used to predict the presence of the medicine in the breast milk. By coupling this model with an infant PVPK model, it is even possible to predict infant exposure to medicines via breast milk. In vivo models are the last non-clinical tool. In vivo models are conducted using living organisms. Currently, most studies are done in the field of milk for human consumption or in rodents. However, we believe it is even better to combine in vitro and in vivo data. This allows us to understand the mechanisms and to learn how to apply data generated in cells to a living organism. At the same time, this approach strongly reduces the number of animals needed. To conclude, the combination of different non-clinical methods will enable us to predict medicine transfer into the human breast milk and subsequent infant exposure via breastfeeding. This information will help physicians to give evidence-based advice to women about the use of medicines during breastfeeding. If you want to know more about this topic, feel free to read our recent biomedicine and pharmacotherapy publication.